Hi everybody, I'm Solomon, the Arkansas Diamond Miner. We are right at the end of the day today, and you can see there's some water running down around me. They're up there washing the uh, the tables and cleaning out the sluice troughs at the wash pavilion. I'm going to show you a little, little secret real quick. If you're out here at the very end of the day and you need to find some gravel to take home with you, I got just a good spot for you. Let's go look at it. All right, so you can see uh, nobody out here in this pavilion but me and the gentleman washing, but uh, if you look on this table right here, a whole lot of gravel. Now, you'd want to check it before you actually bucketed a bunch of that stuff up. Uh, I can tell you right now that uh, this was a guy that comes out here, he runs lots of gravel, he finds lots of diamonds, and he knows what he's doing, so there's not going to be much in this gravel, but there will be people out occasionally that come out, and they wash a lot of material. They don't know exactly how to screen the material correctly and they don't know how to make a center but you can see there's a whole bunch of gravel on these tables yeah. so once they've left their spot you know if they're done for the day they basically leave the gravel behind and the pavilion gets washed but if you go in there and it's late, you know, I think we've got about, oh, 10 or 15 minutes before the park closes. Um, you can go in there, shiny rock, hang on, nope, oh, piece of glass. Anyhow, you can go in there and harvest some of that gravel. Wouldn't hurt to bring a, you know, if you've got a Soroka or a screen set, use your fine screen. Um, just throw a quick center on it and see what's in it. You know, if that thing is completely clean, if it's completely clean and there's no heavies in it, you pretty well be assured that that gravel pile was left by somebody that knows what they're doing and knows how to work their material. Um, if you throw a screen of it real quick and you see a pretty good center in it, then, uh, you know, of course you want to make sure, you want to make absolutely sure that's not somebody's gravel, um, you know, that they plan on coming back to get. But as you've seen, there was no more tools, no more equipment, no screens in there. All the uh, visitors were gone. In fact, there's barely anybody even on the search field. But uh, if you throw a center of that stuff and it looks like uh, it has heavies in it, nothing says you can't go ahead and harvest that gravel and take it home with you if it was left behind and uh, nobody intends to take it. So that's a real easy way to score some gravel. If I had my buckets handy when I walked through there, I probably would have grabbed a bunch of that. You know, like I said, that one pile we looked at on the very end, I know who was running that, so I know they didn't miss anything in that. But the rest of those piles that were scattered through there, uh, very, very possible that they could have had diamonds. Um, I know there have been diamonds found right in the vicinity of those pavilions. Uh, at some point, I'll have a video coming where I harvest some of the gravel from right beside a pavilion. Um, of course, you'll if you like and sub or if you subscribe to my channel, you'll see it. If you hit the notification icon, you'll know when it pops up. So, uh, anyhow. Yeah, that's a real quick and easy way to score some gravel. At the end of the day, everybody leaves up, leaves that behind. It's very possible that somebody didn't know exactly how to work the gravel, how to work their screens, how to get a center and harvest a center. So uh, sometimes they just bring material up there, play around with it, make a big pile and leave it behind and nothing says you can't go get it. So hopefully that's a good tip for you. I bring it over here to my cage, get my backpack and call it a day. Thanks for watching.